All right, well, it's time for another project. Uh, wife and I drove five and a half, six hours to get this one. It is a 1973 Toyota Chinook. She's great. So, tell you a little bit about it. Drove to Charleston, to pick it up, threw it on a trailer, hauled it back to Orlando. Uh, and she's pretty solid. It's not uh, perfect by any means, but most of them are not for this age. Um, it is really solid though. No rust, um, fiberglass in great shape. Top needs a little bit of work. Uh, needs to do some vinyl work. Uh, it's got a couple um, cracks in the soft top once you pop the top. Um, but aside from that, it's, it's, uh, it's a pretty good rig. We'll show you around here a little bit. All right, so this is the outside. We do have the grill for it. It is a two-piece, but under the hood, it's not not terrible. Uh, everything seems to be, well, not everything seems to be there, but it doesn't really matter because this little turd is about to get evicted. We are going to throw in a 5.3 liter Vortec. Uh, specifically an LM7 with a 4L60, uh, probably a 241 manual shift transfer case. And we're going to throw this thing on one tons. So I've got the rear axle here already. This is out of a 2002 Ram 2500. Uh, I believe it was 373 gear ratios. It's got a factory limited slip. I think it's technically a Dana 70. Um, but it's solid rear axle, uh, nothing wrong with it. Might need to do a um, pinion bearing, but that's pretty much it for that. Uh, we'll get show you the inside, see where we're starting. We have mirrors and such for it, but they're probably gonna get replaced. See, the inside's not bad. It's, uh, it's a good little truck. Manual, that's gonna go away. Seats are probably gonna go away, even though they're not bad. The passenger's a little ripped but i mean the dash i mean look at that thing that is mint a little dusty but nothing some shine juice can't fix got everything there i don't know what's supposed to go there but figure that out when time comes but i mean everything seems to be there look at that heavy duty that should work no problem but probably not all right i don't really see anything else up under there oh god Got our external fuses. That's actually pretty cool. Haven't seen that before, but also haven't really worked on anything this old before. It's, uh, it's pretty slick. I don't really know what that is. Another fuse, more fuses. Well, it is really simple under here and I am loving it. It's the first time I've really looked at it like super in depth, but got some extra bits in the back. Take your own back to show you that. Door is flawless. Works great. Cabinet door, just ignore that for now. But it goes in here. All right. Got to do uh, some, uh, I don't know, make it look nicer stuff there. I don't know what you, <laughs> insulation maybe, but countertop looks great we're probably gonna go with a uh, butcher block maybe even though it is i uh, technically butcher block maybe no not i don't know what you'd call that uh but windows look in great shape it's got the burners i don't know if they're operational we'll find out sink the top as you can see needs a little love that's uh one of the cross supports for the fiberglass top it has delaminated from the side so you can see it's kind of it's kind of dipped a little bit but uh we can stiffen her back up get some aluminum angle and put in there and uh i guess epoxy it to the roof to get some structure back in it and this thing came with a lot of goodies i don't have all of them pulled out right now to show you but i uh, got a car cover with it that's probably like the worst spot but we'll figure out how to how to deal with that not entirely sure just yet but i mean she's solid it ain't it's not bad my little smiley face makes me happy this couch phenomenal shape i mean 
got a little little mildew here and there to clean up but she's been sitting for over a year not being worked on let's see if we can get all this off of here kind of show you the gem we're working with but i mean look at that i mean mint oh steam clean and air freshener and i mean practically brand new so yeah give you another little tour of the outside it's got the original propane tank on it it's uh definitely not in date um might be functional might try to clean up take it off and get it inspected and um recertified so we can use it for onboard propane um, but this thing's gonna be sitting pretty tall it's gonna be a bit of an overlander uh like i said it's gonna be on one tons um it's gonna have a solid front axle I'm trying to find something out of like a 2006 ram 2500 uh so it'll be i think it's like an aam um maybe i can't quite remember but it's gonna it'll sit pretty tall the wheel wells should probably come up to about the bottom of that green line so you're talking we have a significant lift there um probably about a sit up at least six eight inches higher which would be perfect probably 33s maybe 35s we'll see what fits in those little wheel wells um in here not quite sure what this is but i got my fancy little holder thing uh, i think this was for heat in here because it's got a like a 12 volt source and a 115 so you can plug it in and i'm assuming this uses the uh pro propane to uh heat it don't really know but we're gonna we're gonna figure that thing out there's always manuals I'll tell you what's what Ooh, look at that two accessory battery positive well that's good accessory battery negative and i have seen those under the engine bay let's see what that's about I wonder what those blue bars are. There we go. So see, they run up over here. You've got that green one, which I guess was the negative. The blue one, I don't know where it went to. Uh, looks like it went back into that loom right there. But that's the... Uh, oh, okay, so it probably goes to that um, little relay slash uh, breaker, resettable breaker thing right there. Yeah, so it would be a pretty neat little deal be able to cruise the highway running 7580 and uh getting oh maybe 18 20 miles a gallon doing it having some fun big old meats up under it yeah we're gonna see what she turns out to be like that's it right now in all its glory